In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Let us call to mind our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate these sacred mysteries worthily. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. The Almighty God, have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to life everlasting. Amen. Let us pray. O God, restorer and lover of innocence, direct the hearts of your servants towards yourself, that those you have set free from the darkness of unbelief may never stray from the light of your truth. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. In those days, some men came down from Judea and were teaching the brethren, unless you are circumcised according to the custom of Moses, you cannot be saved. And when Paul and Barnabas had no small dissension and debate with them, Paul and Barnabas and some of the others were appointed to go up to Jerusalem to the apostles and the elders about this question. So being sent on their way by the church, they passed through both Phoenicia and Samaria, reporting the conversion of the Gentiles, and they gave great joy to all the brethren. When they came to Jerusalem, they were welcomed by the church and the apostles and the elders, and they declared all that God had done with them. But some believers who belonged to the party of the Pharisees rose up and said, It is necessary to circumcise them and to charge them to keep the law of Moses. The apostles and the elders were gathered together to consider this matter. The word of the Lord. Praise be to God. Our response to the psalm is, let us go rejoicing to the house of the Lord. Let us go rejoicing to the house of the Lord. Let us go rejoicing to the house of the Lord. Let us go rejoicing to the house of the Lord. I rejoiced when they said to me, 
Let us go to the house of the Lord, and how and now our feet are standing within your gates, O Jerusalem. Let us go rejoicing to the house of the Lord. Jerusalem is built as a city, bonded as a one together. It is there that the tribes go up, the tribes of the Lord. Let us go rejoicing to the house of the Lord. For Israel witness it is to praise the name of the Lord. There were set to thrones for judgment, the thrones of the house of David. Let us go rejoicing to the house of the Lord. Let us rise for the gospel acclamation. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Abide in me, and I in you, says the Lord. He who abides in me bears much fruit. Alleluia, 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 alleluia. The Lord be with you with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory be to you, O Lord. At that time, Jesus said to his disciples, I am the true vine, and my Father is the vine dresser. Every branch of mine that bears no fruit, he takes away. And every branch that does bear fruit, he prunes, that it may bear more fruit. You are already made clean by the word which I have spoken to you. Abide in me, and I in you. As the branch cannot bear fruit by itself unless it abides in the vine, neither can you unless you abide in me. I am the vine, you are the branches. He who abides in me and I in him, he it is that bears much fruit. For apart from me, you can do nothing. If a man does not abide in me, he is cast forth as a branch and withers. And the branches are gathered, thrown into the fire and burned. If you abide in me, and my words abide in you. Ask whatever you will, and it shall be done for you. By this, my Father is glorified, that you bear much fruit, and so prove to be my disciples. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise be to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Pray that all of us will witness that day to come when it will be said, Let us go rejoicing to the house of the Lord, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Beloved in the Lord, we have experienced lockdown in Lagos, and somehow, somehow it is still partially on in some sections. For those who have truly stayed in the lockdown, stayed back at home. Of course, you must have noticed that you have noticed some new things about a spouse, about the children, for those who are living together. For some, they have come to discover that they can truly live in a happier way together. 
Others as well, it has been hell for them. Some families have been quarreling. Some spouses have been quarreling all through the lockdown. But some, it is a happy one. They see the other side of their children, the good and the bad, and the ones they can correct, they are still correcting. So you see, the lockdown brought some persons some benefits. And it brought harm to some as well, for those who wanted harm in any way. So, it is because of the lockdown that many things have come to be revealed. And many even discover their talents. Why? Because they abide in the lockdown. The normal day-to-day runnings were taken away from them. So, they have the ability to concentrate on one particular thing or some particular things. And the best was able to come out from them. That is the power of staying, staying put. That is to tell us that as human beings, we are created to be genius. Every one of us. Nobody is a dumbass. Every one of us. God has given us brains. God has given us a lot of potentialities. But the problem we have is that we are in different places. And all of these different places are empty places. Much more problem. So Jesus is saying today, abide in me. Abide in me. Just stay there. Just stay there and you will grow. Just stay there. I think that is the problem we have. We cannot just stay there. We are already in him, but we cannot stay there. And so today we are praying for the grace to stay there. For those who stay there, he will reveal himself to them. He himself said that, that my father and I will come and dwell with you. So Jesus wants us to stay there. Just stay there. Just stay there in grace. Just struggle to stay there. Just stay there. Just stay there. Don't move away. Just stay there. Find your way in him. No matter anything that is rocking the boat, just stay there. As you stay there, as time goes by, you will see that you are in union with him and that things will be falling into place. And that you do not even ask before you get because your life is now in Jesus. Everything you say, every word you utter, every step you take, every actions, I mean every action you take is all that in Jesus because you are just staying put. So let us stay there. If we stay there, good things will come our way. Hymn number 65. 65.
Pray, sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Father Almighty. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and the glory of his name, for our good and good of all his holy church. Grant, we pray, O Lord, that we may always find delight in these Paschal mysteries, so that the renewer constantly at work within us may be the cause of our unending joy. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. Give them all to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation at all times to acclaim you, O Lord. But in this time above all, to love you yet more gloriously when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. By the oblation of his body, he thought he brought the sacrifices of all to fulfillment in the reality of the cross and by commending himself to you for our salvation, showed himself the priest, the altar, and the lamb of sacrifice. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exult in your praise, and even the heavenly pass with the angelic host, sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and gave thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more given thanks. He gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church, spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Alfred Martins, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters 
who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Saint Joseph, our most chaste spouse, with the blessed apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may marry to be co heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and glory are yours now and forever. Amen. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit, Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should come under my roof, but only say a word, and my soul shall be healed. Act of spiritual communion for our brothers and sisters back home viewing this mass. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament of the altar. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my poor soul. Since I cannot now receive you sacramentally, 
come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you are already there, and I unite myself to you. Never permit me to be ever separated from you again. Amen. Jesus, in the blessed sacrament, have, have mercy, mercy on the on dying. dying. Jesus, in the blessed sacrament, have, have mercy, mercy on, on the, the dead. dead. Jesus, in the blessed sacrament, grant, grant us a holy and a happy death. death. Amen. Amen. One, 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 from the Catholic hymn book, hymn number one, one, one. Sweet sacrament divine, heed in your earthly Let us pray for an end to the coronavirus pandemic. O oh God, our help in ages past, we, your children, humbly implore your mercy at this time of adversity. We are devastated by the coronavirus pandemic that is ravaging the whole world, snuffing life out of your people and spreading fear everywhere. You are the God of life, and nothing is impossible to you. You ask us to call on you in the day of trouble, and you will answer us. We know that we are sinners who are unworthy of your favors. Although we have no merits of our own to plead before you, we stand on the merit of the death and resurrection of Christ and plead his saving blood over our lives and situation. We ask you to be merciful to us and save us from this scourge that is devastating the world. Be gracious to us and speak life and healing into the present coronavirus scourge and command it to depart from our world. Give leaders of government and scientists divine wisdom and knowledge to take the right decisions and to develop the vaccine needed to stem the spread of this virus. Protect all health workers and volunteers. Look with pity on those who are already infected with this deadly virus and heal them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died from it and comfort those they left behind to mourn their demise. Lord, through this scourge, may the hearts of many be turned back to you, their creator. We make our prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. Our Lady, health of the sick. Pray for us. Saint Raphael, the archangel. Pray for us. All angels and saints of God. Pray for us. Our Lady, mother of the church, the health of the sick, intercede for the whole world. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. Hear, O Lord, our prayers, that this most holy exchange by which you have redeemed us, may bring your help in this present life and ensure for us eternal gladness through Christ our Lord. Amen. So we urge you to continue to keep safe. And we appeal to you as well to download the O Sanctus app 
that we aid your communication between the parish and yourself. The app is a necessary one, such that through that app, you can book mass, you can make prayer requests, you can dialogue with the parish, so to say, through the app. Go to Google Play Store and download the app if you have not done so. It is necessary. The app strengthens our family bond as a parish. As you do that, may God continue to bless you through Christ our Lord. Amen. Do not forget to always say your rosary. It is a month of May. May the, God, may the good Lord in his infinite mercy continue to have mercy on us. Show us his mercy now and always in every situation of our lives through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may almighty God bless and keep you the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks be to God. 139, hymn number 139. Lord, dismiss us with your blessing. Feel our sweet joy and peace. Let us each all of process in triumph in redeeming grace. Or if precious, or if precious, as we walk to.